Logic Pro 11 stem splitter doesn't work for Intel users. You know we gonna make it fresh. Now I believe in the mantra, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it's worked for a lot of the cases that I work in. Machine, Pro Tools, and Logic before this update. But apparently, I'm wrong. So Logic Pro 11 is finally here. And I'm not gonna go too deep into a lot of what Logic Pro 11 has going on, but I am going to go over a couple of the features that I am excited for. And then we're gonna be talking about some of the stuff that just does not work if you're an Intel user. First and foremost, we need to talk about the session base player. This session base player looks amazing and I'm interested to see how well it is. So it's kind of like the session drummer that we used to have. So once we pull up the session drummer, uh, used to be when you had the session drummer, you could choose what drummer you could do, whether it be Kyle or an R&B drummer, whatever the case may be. So I'm gonna go to a funky songwriter, right? So now we got a funky drummer. And then I want this drummer to follow instead of the chords, the simple foundation, which would be the bass. So that's what I want it to follow. So if I play the drums, that's what it's going to sound like. So now let's listen to the session bass. which is dope. Let me see if I can make it a little bit more complex. Bring up that fill complexity. Okay, that's not bad. Let me see if I can make this a modern R&B and see if we can go from there. There's also been some minor uh, upgrades. If you look, you'll see like some minor facial upgrades not really too much stuff that's been done of course there's the studio piano that looks beautiful um you can say it's a studio grand one mic studio grand with a stereo mics concert grand vintage upright these look amazing then you also have studio bass now classic bass 60s rock modern session session is crazy and then american upright just a good overhaul of different plugins i want to see how the studio strings look see these look good it's asking me to download i'm not going to download right now same thing with the session horns we had those on the last update so a lot of this stuff is looking good but like i said it's minor updates not really major updates let's get into the root of why you came to this video so as a intel user i am not trying to do a lot of upgrading because i've already spent enough money on not only this computer but also the other computer that's doing a lot of the stuff that i use which is pro tools and logic and i've gotten it to the point to where i can create i can mix i can master i can do everything that i want to do on both of these laptops now the two major things that i wanted to come with this update did not come with it i'm gonna just take a random song place this random song in here and i'm gonna go right to the audio right click on it processing and look how stem splitter is not open it's actually grayed out 
stem splitter is only for apple silicon users so that means all of you m1 m2 m3 users you have stem splitter us intel users who did not want to upgrade don't have stem splitter we have to go to another source like serato or something else in order to use stem splitter i don't understand why apple would do this so yes logic pro 11 stem splitter does not work but that's not the only thing that they cheated us out of in this update there is another plugin that they have given us called the chroma glow and if i go to the distortion you do not see the chroma glow because it is a distortion plugin only for apple silicon users now of course there's other plugins that you can use but like for people who like to do stock and we're really looking forward to this and they have intel base that means they have to now go out of their way and buy and apple silicon in order to get that chroma glow i'm not telling you to do that not at all i'm going to find some alternatives that you can use that sound just as good so you don't have to do that like i said for the stem splitter serato sample does it natively you can go ahead and pick that up and then go ahead and separate your stems in there it comes in a plug-in and then also you can also do that in the serato studio if you want to go that route but i suggest you use the serato sample as an alternative and for the chroma glow there are so many other distortion plugins that you can use to get that i'm sorry that you can't use the native but this is my take for the Logic Pro 11. It's a beautiful program. I just really wish that Apple had in mind the Intel users instead of just the Apple Silicon users. Apple Silicon is really in high demand right now and there is no way that everyone that has a MacBook Pro is on Apple Silicon. Come on, Apple, come on. All right, everybody, this is your boy J Fresh Beats. Go ahead and leave a like and also leave that subscribe so you can be notified anytime I make a video just like this one. All right. Thank you so much. Peace.